know I'm Valerie's story, and today we're going to read about animals, a bush baby in particular. And the title of the story is Bush Baby by Adrian Kenway. And we can see Bush Baby up in the palm tree here. We can see water over here. Then off in the distance we see an island. What do you think might be on that island? Let's find out. Bush Baby's favorite food was figs. Big, juicy, mouth-watering figs. And Bush Baby was always hungry. Can I go and look for some figs? He asked his mother one day. If you like, she said. But don't go too far. After listening to the first page, why do you think Bush Baby's mother warns him not to go too far? What do you think will happen if he doesn't listen to her? Bush Baby lived in a forest by the sea. He jumped from tree to tree looking for figs, but everything he found was little and hard and bitter. They weren't good to eat at all. Where could he find some luscious ripe ones? Please, have you seen any juicy figs? He asked the colorless monkeys who lived in the banana grove. No figs, said the monkeys. Come play with us, Bush Baby. No, thank you, said Bush Baby. I'm too hungry to play games. Bush Baby went to find Shy Jeanette, who lived in a hollow tree. Please, have you seen any juicy figs? He asked. Jeanette shook her head. Why don't you go ask Heron? He is old and wise. He will tell you where to find some juicy figs. This is a text of self-connection. Can you think of a time when you were looking for something and had to ask for help? Karen lived in the mangroves. Please, have you seen any juicy figs? Asked the bush baby. Karen nodded. If you follow that path to the island, you will find the juiciest figs in the world. But beware, monitor guards the tree. And he is very fierce. As Bush Baby bounded away, Heron called after him and watched the tide. Soon the path will be underwater, so hurry, hurry! As Bush Baby hops and bounded along the sandy path, crabs dived for cover in the coral pools. At last he came to the island. Now, where was the tree that Heron had told him about? The tree with the juiciest figs in the world. There was the tree, tall and strong, with spreading branches full of bright figs. Just looking at it made Bush Baby's mouth water. He couldn't wait to eat all those delicious figs. He would eat and eat until he was full. Bush Baby took a flying leap into the tree. He didn't see Monitor, the giant lizard, asleep in the stripy shadows. Mmm, that was the sweetest fig he had ever tasted. He ate another and another. The, juiciest, the juice ran down his chin and made his fingers sticky. Bush Baby leapt from branch to branch greedily, eating every fig he could see. He startled he startled a praying mantis and almost stepped on a centipede. What type of character is Bush Baby? Is he nice, lazy, or what do you think? How do you know this? There were so many figs, it was impossible to cram them all into his mouth at once. That's why he dropped one right onto Monitor's head. Splat! Monitor opened one eye, then he opened the other and looked up into the tree. Who did that? He snapped. Who dropped a fig on my head? Suddenly the lizard spotted Bush Baby. So there you are, he said, lashing his tail with fury. Then he opened his jaws his, and wide and hissed. Well, Bush Baby, you'll have to come down sometime. And when you do, I'll be waiting. 
Bush Baby was so frightened that he climbed the tree higher and higher, up and up, until he reached the very top. Soon it began to grow dark. The evening sky was full of flying foxes gliding and swooping over his head, and now the sandy path was covered by water. He would have to stay in the tree all night. His mother would be very worried about him, but the worst thing was that he had the most terrible stomach ache. He wished now that he hadn't eaten so many figs. At last, the stars grew pale and the new day came, but Monitor still waited at the foot of the tree, hissing and spitting. I must jump for the beach, thought Bush Baby, but it was so far away. Jump, Bush Baby, hissed Monitor, jump, and I'll catch you in my waiting jaws. Monitor's words frightened him, Bush Baby, so much that he sprang from the tree up and up, higher and higher. He sailed across the water and landed safely on the sandy path. It was the biggest jump he had ever had. Bush Baby hopped and bounded back along the sandy path while Monitor lashed his tail on the shore. He couldn't catch Bush Baby now. Bush Baby's mother was overjoyed to see him. He told her all about his adventures and his terrible stomach ache. I'm not surprised after eating all those figs, you greedy thing, said mother. Your trouble is that your eyes are bigger than your stomach. And if you look, you'll see that. She was right. What does Bush Baby's mother mean when she says that his eyes are bigger than his stomach? Are your eyes bigger than your stomach? When words have different meanings, they're called idioms. So when she said his eyes are bigger than his stomach, that was an idiom. She didn't really mean it. Do you think this was a good book? Why? What's something from the book that makes it a good book? 